Yeah, definitely both. I, I, I love the... I love the amino acid profile of red meat. I think it's great protein. The rate limiting pro amino acid is, is 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 really high. You know, rate limiting amino acid like something like corn. Uh, I think uh, L tryptophan is the rate limiting amino acid, and it's really really low. So you might have in you know in a, in one uh, one gram of corn, you might have 100 milligrams of this, 100 milligrams of this, 100 milligrams of this, and then only two milligrams of of uh, L-tryptophan. Well, when the, the rate limiting amino acid is an essential amino acid, that's the maximum amount of protein synthesis that can occur is whatever that rate limiting essential amino acid is. Well, red meat has a great amino acid spectrum. You don't ever have a real low essential amino acid. And then, so the only problem with red meat is it's high in fat. I mean, it's got so many benefits, high in iron, it's great amino acid profile, but it's generally higher in fat. Well, you get something like bison or uh, a buffalo it generally, and it, and generally they're free range too, so they you know grass fed, so they have really low fat. So you have a red meat, great, all the benefits of red meat, but you know as low in fat as chicken. I mean, if the only downfall is they they are more expensive, but if you can find a good low cost source for them, they're, they're the best source, the best meat protein source source you can get in my mind. Red people love red meat for a number of reasons: higher in iron, higher in creatine, which benefit you know diet if you're eating six times a day and you're eating red meat six times a day you're probably getting more creatine from that than you would if you actually supplemented with five, you know five grams of creatine on, on top of it so that, all those benefits but primarily a great amino acid profile uh, the only downfall for red meat for a diet is it's high in fat and you have to account for those calories because fat has more than twice as many calories per gram than protein does well you get you know bison or buffalo you get uh, really low, especially when they're grass fed or, gra or free range, you get really low fat. So you basically have the fat level of chicken or of fish, like tilapia, but all the positive benefits of the of the red meat. And so that, I mean, it's I, it's a great protein source. I, like I said, if I, if I could find a a low cost uh, buffalo or, or any kind of red meat that happened to be as low as fat as chicken, I, that, I would use that as my primary, I mean, I would eat that for every meal as my protein source if I could. And on top of it, red meat, everyone's different, but for me, red meat tastes good. I mean, who doesn't like a steak, you know? I mean, red meat tastes good. Uh, for dieting, well, really, all, all year, the, I like flank steak as my favorite tasting cut that's relatively low in fat, but it's a little bit higher in cost. Probably the best fat, best cut, especially when dieting, are the, the rounds, top round, bottom round, eye round. But, for a number of reasons. They're really low in fat. I mean, bottom round is about four grams of fat per three ounce serving, where chicken is generally like three or four, chicken breast, three, four grams of fat. And on, on top of that, it's usually the lowest cost uh, cut as well. It depends on how deep in the diet I am. If it's to the point where I just want to get the food down, then I just cook it whatever's easiest. I always add salt to it. But if I, you know, if I have if motivation to cook it, I'll grill it, and I, I love it with in the off season with barbecue sauce, open pit barbecue sauce, or any kind of. I like that kind of flavoring barbecue sauce, slightly spicy. Always heavily salt my meat. I, I like my perfect steak is a basic salt and peppered barbecue steak, probably medium to medium rare.